Yo, what's good? My name is Sean of Truth, and I'm back with another reaction video. So right now, I'm about to do Protecting Your Peace. It begins with you. So this is my friend's, um, their new page, their new YouTube channel. And I want to support them on their new beginning. So make sure y'all watch this. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to their page. Their description will be in the bio. So make sure you watch it, man. Make sure you give them positive feedback or any feedback I'm saying of how to improve or what to talk about next. It's going to be more of like a podcast. They want to talk about different topics. I'm going to be on some of them as well, too. So make sure y'all want to see me on some podcast type of type of stuff. Y'all tune into their page. You feel me? But without further ado, man, and also I haven't done a video in a minute, but I will talk about that a little bit towards the end of the video. I won't be doing the whole video because I believe she told me it's like 30 minutes long. But I will be doing a good amount. I just want to kind of hear what she got to say about protecting your peace. It sounds more like some mental health stuff. So I'm definitely, I definitely love the talk and the, the mind process of mental health. For real. But without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get started. to my YouTube. Um, this is a genuine YouTube about everything. Please subscribe. Um, I would love it if you comment um, down below and let me know what you would like to hear. Uh, basically, this is going to be a topic about self-accountability and uh, protecting your peace, okay? Gotcha. And I'm just going to be sitting here and talking <laughs> and literally um, there's other stuff that can happen on this YouTube channel that I don't know about yet. But uh, hey, this is just the first step in many. And I just hope I gain support as we go over because I'm just like, why not? One thing about taking that first step, man, like sometimes people are scared of failure that they scared. They're scared to take that first step into starting something. But you, de you never know how to start something if you're going to take that first step. So you got to start somewhere and basically learn from every step you, every step you take. You got to learn from it. You feel me? So let's keep it going, man. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's get started. Get started. <laughs> okay. First of all, kid, why your forehead so big? Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let's keep it going. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so I have like so much. Sorry, it's kind of it's cold in here. I have so much I want to say and do, and Snapchat and stuff is just not cutting it for me. So, welcome. I mean, she can always go on Instagram Live too. You know what I'm saying? Like we always go on Instagram live, so y'all want to hear and tune to our lives. Make sure you follow me on IG and also follow her on IG as well too. Let's keep it going. Um, to the, to very, the very beginning, beginning of, of my vlog, uh, basically, basically, I'm a very emotional, intelligent person. I could read people's body languages, vibes, and I'm not just making that up. I literally, I guess you know, people call it an empath. I've never been a big believer in that, so it's crazy. But basically, on this channel, I'm going to be talking about like a lot mental stability, like, you know, everybody's mental health is important. Relationships, friendships. No, I'm not a pro and I'm not perfect. But if I can help somebody else that's probably gone through the same stuff that I've gone through. And usually I sit here and shoot, I think about a lot of stuff. You know, I think about how people move like you know the world is just weird so you you got a lot of questions but i guess yeah i guess this is my first ever video and i'm actually happy i'm doing this because i feel like this is the first step in many things and i just hope i can help out men women children anybody that actually feels like they can relate to my video so i guess the topic today would be about accountability or protecting your peace, okay? Both of these things go into, they go into one, okay? And I'll explain why. So Yeah, I'll say, please explain because 
the way I think about it, accountability is like taking account for your actions. Protecting your peace is like more like stepping back from others' action that doesn't align with yours. My mindset so far without hearing what she got to say, but um, let's keep it going. Well, everybody knows protecting their peace. We're all getting to an age where we just want no drama. You know, you just want to come home. And if you got a family, you just want to be your family. And if you're single, you just want to be in your room. You know, you don't want to bother. No, and that's fine. Single Nobody life. should be a condemned for wanting to just be by themselves. Being by yourself is probably the best type of self-love you could ever find ever. Because you know for a fact you're good by yourself. I've been by myself growing up. I never had a set of stable friends through high school. I would say the same thing. Like, I, I was that popular loner. I had friends, but I only had, like, a few a few like really close friends for real for real and when she's mentioning self-love you have to learn how to love yourself before you can love anyone else because if you're damaged if you don't know how to love yourself you will not know how to love anyone else and you want to know how real love even looks like because you never loved yourself and gave yourself that type of love and attention so thoughts with self-love for real let's keep it going Everybody, Everybody was a high, high and by. In high school, I was by myself. Like, that's why whenever I came across situations, I knew I could handle myself, no matter how small I am. And I'm 4'10", by the way. So, yeah, I'm very short. But I got tall girl energy, as I've been told. So, this mother is 7'6". Seven, seven, like, she 4'10", but her mindset is 7'6", bro. And she's like an evil little minion, too. But let's keep it going. <laughs> but, yeah, uh... Let me see, where was I at? But yeah, being by yourself is probably the best thing ever. But at some point in our life, you know, we have to take accountability as well for why our peace wasn't protected. And when I say that is, who did you involve in your life? Who did you keep as a friend? Who did you keep as a person in your relationship? You know, all the rules apply the same. You um, attract what you give out, okay? True. So True, true. I didn't mean to cut you off, but um, you do attract what you get. So <clears throat> what you mean by accountability, that means like whatever you're getting, you got to think about, OK, what am I doing to gain this attention, gain this negative energy? And like, am I being negative? Am I giving the perception that I like these type of people around me or this energy around me? Stuff like that. Like um, I can't really give an example, but whenever certain things happen to you, Sometimes it can be your fault because you and in, you're inviting that type of energy into your life in a way. Let me hear what you got to say, though. So if you attract negativity, you're going to bring negativity to you. So then friends that should be like, oh, if you ever had to doubt their trust or feel like they did you wrong in some way, you know, you as a person only know what is your cutoff for that. OK, but you cannot blame everybody in the world because. You know, you're sitting there like, why am I, why me? I'm a good person. Why me? Well, you got to change your circle first off. Mm -hmm. And also don't be like, why me? More like try me. Like try me again. Like basically whenever negative is coming into your life, it's going to happen. You got to have a mindset of attacking it before it attacks you. You feel me? So don't be like, why me? More like try me. I'm ready. Let's keep it going. You can't keep negative people around you. Somebody, if you feel like they're talking shit about you, if you feel like they're, you know, they're being fake, whatever reason you feel like you can't trust this person, probably that's your body telling you to protect yourself. So sometimes your spirit tells you, tells you things that happened before it comes into the physical world. So whenever your, your body, your spiritual energy, your vibe is telling you something, you probably should pay attention. You probably should literally listen. Take a step back, because sometimes once you take that step back, everything happens in front of your eyes, and you'd be glad that she wasn't a part of it. You just watched it from afar, for real, no cap. Let's keep it going. You don't have to be like, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to hang around no more, because if the person is maturing, that they'll be respectful to realize that y'all are going to grow different paths. True. You know, that's the whole point of being a adult. You got to be mature and realize not everybody's going to follow your same path. Just because you don't talk to this person for months. I have friends that, you know, we don't talk to each other every day. But at the end of the day, when I see them, I know it's going to be amazing. Exactly, man. Like, I, people literally don't understand the concept of like, oh, I'm your friend. I spoke to you. Sometimes like we're, we're adults. We're busy. But when I see you, it's like 
like nothing has ever changed. Like I seen you the other day, like, cause I have my homeboy Mike. He's like my my brother, and I haven't spoke to him in like, whew, like months. Like it's been a minute. And when I know when I see him, it's gonna be lit. Like it was one time I haven't seen him in months, and I still hung out hung out with him um, for New Year's. Like it be like that, man. Like he's in the military, I'm in the military. He's married, I'm single. You know. But um, yeah, man, for real, like. People understand, like the real ones, they understand, like, okay, cool, this person needs space. Oh, you may need space for like a month. Like, I haven't went out in a whole month. And people, my friends, they understand that. They are accepting of that. You know what I'm saying? Real friends recognize real. No cap. Okay. Yeah, you're going to probably see some skips or so because there's going to be a lot of editing and stuff. Trust me, this is my first video. I would get better over time. But, um, not to stray from the subject um because i have a bad habit of doing that basically from what i was trying to say before though is that take accountability for yourself okay you gotta take accountability for your circle who you're in relationship and then when you do find the people that you feel like are genuine towards you and you're so nervous because you're like i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one who thinks like this person's so cool we get along so well but do y'all ever think about oh there's a possible the argument how bad would happen some of us who's been like you know friends with people and stuff me for being one i always have that worry because i'm like how do i know if this person understands like you know will be you know mature enough that we could sit here and talk about it now was i mature before no but i wasn't i'll be on i wasn't intentionally a bad person okay yes the type of friend i am I care about my friends. I respect their decision. I really do though. She real like she's really a good friend for real. No cap, man. She really cares about people, even though she's like two years older, older than some of her friends, or not even that much older. People see her as like the mom because she's always taking care of everybody, making sure everybody's good. She's a real good person, man. Real no cap. Do I get a little irritated? Yes, because like you know, you see your friends. They my my girls, my girls are amazing. And you know so much more for them. But at the end of the day, I think before I move too. So like if I'm about to say something, I sit back and think like, how is this going to come out? Is it going to offend her? You know, even though you want to be real, there's a way you come across everybody. You could sit there and still say your point without being disrespectful. A lot of people want respect in this world, but don't want to give it. A lot of people don't want to be judged in this world, but don't want to, but want to keep judging. So true, 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 true. Some people literally hate being judged, but they're judging everybody. They're, they're the one that be sitting down or Louis so-and-so got on. Look at this, look at that. But they hate to be judged. how that work? It's like, it's very contradiction. You cannot be a contradicting person saying, hey, I want to protect my peace, but you're turning around, you know, not really cool with the person, people that you being around. Like, just, folk, you know, you got to look at yourself at the end of the day. If you got toxic traits, then you're going to bring toxic traits to you. Mm -hmm. it you attract what, and that's also because people don't really clean their energy. So whenever you have negative energy inside you, you attract that negativity. You attract that bad. That's why you need to kind of step back, cleanse yourself. So then you can attract more clean, pure energy and pure minded people and good minded people. Because if you're the type that's, I'm saying, you know, there's nothing wrong with going out and turning up. But sometimes people get mad about if they attract people like that with them. They attract the same ones that go out and party and drink a lot and they get mad about it. But if you're doing the same thing, you're going to attract what you're, you know what I'm saying, around. If you're not going out and you're going to a painting or a sip and paint type of thing, you're going to see people that are doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying, you know, you attract what you are, you attract what you do. People that do the same thing as you, in the same environment, in the same place, they'll be there with you. So you're gonna attract what's around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but I'm gonna stop the video right here. It's been like almost 15 minutes. Make sure y'all want to see the full video. Tune in to her channel. Subscribe, like, and comment. Let her know that you came from my page as well. And also, if you want me to do the full video? Comment say. React um like a part two or whatever. But just let me know, man. Also DM me on my IG as Shauna Truth. I'm gonna change that. It's not Shauna Z31 anymore. It's Shauna Truth. 
You feel me? So make sure y'all definitely hit me up. And I'm about to start doing some reactions. I may start tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I'm in Germany right now, so it's a time difference. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, show love to the channel. Till the next one. You did.